Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Spring has sprung and flowers are blooming in space. Zinnia flowers burst forth this week inside the veggie plant growth facility used by astronauts to hone their microgravity gardening skills. Flowers have appeared in space before, with NASA astronaut Don Pettit growing a sunflower and even writing a blog from the point of view of his space-grown zucchini flower. This current study will be used to help with the next flowering plant experiment in 2017, when astronauts will try out their green thumbs attempting to grow tomatoes. And even though the holidays are well past, an elf showed up on station this week. The crew set up the Electrostatic Levitation Furnace, or ELF for short, which is a Japanese payload used for material science. It uses an electric field to keep samples in place, which frees them from the impurities that can come from the containers using the melting process on Earth. Then a laser heats samples to between 570 and 5400 degrees Fahrenheit. Measurements from this process could provide new insights for the procedures used in the production of high-performance steel here on Earth. This week's Twitter question comes from Nabil, who wants to know what keeps the station stable when astronauts do things like run on the treadmill. That's a smart question and something our engineers had to think a lot about. Devices like the treadmill, stationary bike, and weightlifting machine actually have vibration stabilizers built in to separate them from the station structure itself. Otherwise, the motion from the astronauts could have negative effects on the delicate science taking place all across the station or even alter the motion of the station itself. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.